I love you forever, Sid. No, fuck off! Oh my god, no, 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 no! Yes. Early reminder to not check the snap map. Oh, I got my fishy a new sticker. How you like that, big chungus? You probably think this world is a dream come true. video of the suspected serial killer terrorizing Chicago. That is the video of a serial killer still at large in the city of Chicago. He murdered two people. Look how he walks and especially how he runs. His feet point outwards like a duck. So the biggest thing that they have on this guy is the way he walks and runs. That walk is very distinctive from the average person. Here's the suspect on Sunday walking down a quiet street. He's wearing a black tracksuit with a hat and scarf covering his face on a warm day. He murdered two people, one who was just walking his dog in the park and another guy who was playing Pokemon Go. They both got shot in the head. 73-year-old Douglas Watts, who was out walking his dogs. He ran off, caught on surveillance video, fleeing the shooting scene with that distinctive duck run. 36 hours later and just six blocks away, Police say he shot to death a second man who was taking a stroll on a lakefront bike path. Got a first shot on a bike path, male shot in the head. The victim is identified as 24-year-old Eliyahu Moskowitz. Both men were shot in the head at point-blank range. If you live in the city of Chicago or anywhere nearby and you have any information, please contact your local police authority. Do not attempt to approach the person. Do contact the police. And please, guys, stay safe. I'm making a TikTok because if anything happens to me or I go missing, it's because I reported my stalker and harassment for months to the police over 10 times, over 10 contacts with the police, and they have done absolutely nothing. So here's what's happening. This man who lived in my neighborhood has stalked me for months off of a fake profile. He was telling me he was watching me. He was telling me that I was a disgusting lesbian. So basically, I think he is against gays. He's parking here. And his home is all the way over there. And there's plenty of space. I contacted the police yesterday about him being parked in front of my home because of the harassment, continued harassment. And they said until he does something to me, <laughs> they can't do anything. So if there's anyone that has any legal advice or any officers that would like to help. As a dead ass just got off work, bro. It's five in the morning. I work graveyard and my ex is literally here, bro. Look, there's a security right here and that's her car leaving right now, bro. Look at that. That's her license plate right here. This is my, this is her, bro. Dude, I just got a gun fucking pulled on me. Fucking weirdo, psycho, pulling up to my job and shit. You're watching this, this is a sign for you to learn how to protect yourself. And I'm going to teach you in a few steps. First, if a stalker comes up to you, make sure you're fully equipped with your hands like this. All you gotta do is make sure your hand is gripped like this. Make sure that your hand is not on the inside because when impact hits, that might break your hand. And you're gonna do this with both hands. So when you're ready, you gotta swing to the momentum ready to fight until... So I keep seeing videos of women talking about being followed around by men, so I just wanted to talk about a few places that would probably yield you better results than a police station because usually there's not somebody in the parking lot of a police station they often keep their doors closed first on the list go to any gun store everybody's packing gun stores are run by rednecks you ever seen somebody get hogtied it's fucking hilarious second on the list would be a mechanic shop there's a, going to be at least three or four dudes that are already pissed off because they can't find their 10 millimeter socket and they have lots of tools that they could hurt people with Third on the list, go to any bar that has bouncers. I promise you, as somebody who has worked as a bouncer, 
men that work as bouncers see how shitty drunk men are and even sober guys towards women and they're not going to tolerate it, they will have your back. And my personal favorite would be go to a martial arts dojo. Everybody at a martial arts dojo is well versed in the language of educational beatdowns. Just make sure that you have your camera ready for the fun that ensues afterwards. Neighbors. Okay, guys, let me be up front with you. I think I have a stalker. I honestly think I have a stalker or someone that's obsessed with me. Because right now it's currently 3.56 a.m. in the morning, right? Fucking scary times. And I was bored, so I did some, you know, Googling of myself. Everyone has done it, so fuck off. Don't call me a narcissist. And I find this. What in the living fuckery of all Jesus Christ is this? What, what is this? I know Famous Birthdays is a huge website. But somebody made this page about me, this specific EU drip page about me. But the scary thing is, they know where I was born. How do you know where I was born? I don't remember ever saying I was born in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. So how did they find, how, how? Yo, somebody's stalking me fam, somebody has to be. Unless you guys know how they found that out, because I don't know. And what the fuck is this picture man? Why, why did you choose this picture? I look like a crackhead, what the fuck? Welcome back you psychos. Go ahead, read the disclaimer on the screen and proceed at your own risk. We're going to find out if your phone has been potentially hacked or tampered with. This one is super easy. Jump straight over into the keypad and enter the number on the screen and click on call. Wait a couple of seconds for the information to load and scroll through. Everything you see should say disabled. If it says enabled, scream. Enjoy. So there's this guy that keeps calling her phone. <laughs> <laughs> and then guess what I get to do? Decline! <laughs> they would be. Y'all, he keeps calling her. You must got some bomb ass pussy, boo. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, and then, and then. He me out of my ass. Trash ass, ho ass, bitch, I do. I knew I you were with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy that keeps calling her a lot. Posted this on his Snapchat. <laughs> if you... If you live in SoCal, keep your distance from this fake grimy hoe ass bitch. Ass smurf baby. This is why I don't fuck with anyone. Because everybody turns out to be exactly what they thought they were. <laughs> and then I, I screenshotted it going like this. You heard him? Stay away from me. <laughs> Welcome to Storytime and Makeup. Today's story is about my stalker. At a church retreat, I met this girl in small group. She was friendly and talked about how she was bummed her friend from church couldn't go to the retreat. We ended up hanging out during the retreat and exchanged numbers at the end of the weekend. She texted me right away about how much fun she had had and how we should hang out soon. I agreed and we hung out at my house. We were texting basically every day until one day I was really busy with schoolwork. My mom would take my phone and lock it away until I got my homework done. So when I got my phone back, there was over 200 messages from this girl and 40 missed calls. So I texted her letting her know I was okay and just busy. In the time I hadn't responded, she DM'd my boyfriend and BFF on Facebook multiple times demanding to know where I was. When they said that they didn't know where I was, she said that they were lying. Obviously we found this odd, so I distanced myself from her. I ended up talking to someone else who knew her from the retreat. They said that she was always kind of eccentric, but when I asked who her friend was that couldn't go, they had no clue who I was talking about and said no one by that name went to the church. I kept my distance from her until one day I couldn't. Part two soon.